Well, after that uh, rake intermission here, I'll uh, show you what I got. Uh, it turns out right now that uh, I'm not even using the rake. So, let's see if I can find a little spot where we got the right angle here. You can see actually, uh, it's like a carpet of roots here in this debris. And uh, what I did on my way up was just grab the, uh, the old pitchfork, see if it'll work. And we'll see what we got here. They keep it pointed downhill, they keep the tines up off of the roof, I'm in good shape. And uh, I can just kind of pick and roll. And uh, got some three tab there, and I don't know where it came from. I'm gonna have to pitch this aside, figure out where that came from. Because I don't see any missing here. I may be fixing my roof here later, although I have no clue where that came from because there's nothing missing off my roof. I'm only one layer here on this and there's none missing so far where I've been. So we'll have to see where that came from. Uh, it could be that I just left it laying up here when I roofed the thing, but I don't think so. That's interesting. I just pick this up and roll her down gently. Get it all loose. And get under it and pick it up and carry it to the edge. Anyway, I'll pick all that crap up with the uh, truck later. I wonder where that three tap came from. That's crazy. Well, I'll go figure it's raining, but um, there it is. Nice and clean um, for now. When it dries out this summer, maybe I'll get a blower up here and blow the rest of it off. I don't know. But uh, it'll be fine. There's some needles on it, pine needles. There'll be more uh, before the day's over. But. Um, Anyway, I found those two chunks of uh, three tab up here. There are no nail holes in them, so apparently they were never installed on anything. I don't know where they came from. Uh, I'm not missing anything up here on this carport, so uh, I'm not going to worry about it. I'll uh, rake the uh, north half of the house here. Um, it still has three tab on it. This summer, I'm going to go ahead and paper it. However, um, we'll see if there's anything missing off of there, but. Like I said, there's no nail holes in it. They may be some that I carried up to uh, use for patch or something like that and just left laying up here, I don't know. So anyway, I gotta go after the uh, main part of the house well, here. Well, the uh, south side here was real easy. Uh, it's all paper and the stuff just slides right off. Uh, north side here is another story I had to uh, chop back that little tree there a bit. Um, it's in my way to, to do my thing. Anyway, I'm using my rake here. Guess we can see that and it works pretty well. Uh, a lot of moss on this side. It's the north side of the house and it's got these three tabs so I'm basically just running a push down it and then uh, see if we can see this here. I don't know if we're where we can see anything. Anyway, I'll go after it and uh, see if we can kind of see. But it leaves a little bit and then I'll rake it with the uh, plastic uh, grass rake afterwards. And then uh, this summer, I'll probably throw some copper up here to kill all this moss. And this summer I'll rake it real good and probably paper it. Uh, like I said before, it only takes me an afternoon. And it's pretty cheap, and uh, this stuff will slide right off in the future. 
but anyways, this is the process here. And uh, I guess I gotta answer my phone. Figured I'd do a little uh, shot of uh, where I'm at here. Uh, what we got, we got a, a road out front there. You can hear it, I'm sure. Uh, some traffic coming by here. And uh, it gets quite a bit. It used to be two lane. They've added a turn lane to it. Took out a tree at the front of my driveway there that was about 115 years old. Uh, pissed me off. But anyway, and then uh, I don't know if we can see through the trees what I got. You see a white fence there, and then there are uh, those great big condominium kind of things. I don't know what the hell. Uh, anyway, over there, um, that was uh, 55 acres of farmland, two farmhouses, and a giant old, old, old barn. Um, when I bought this place, you know, I knew it was going to get developed eventually. But yeah, it was 55 acres, two old farmhouses, and they still worked the land. Uh, now there are, uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, 749 dwellings over there is what they call them. Uh, anyway, uh, quite the mess. They did that. Um, they started that project in like 99 or 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 something is when they widened the road and I kind of knew something was up and uh, so uh, 99 2000 right around 2000 2001 is when I built the, the barn just because I figured I better jump on it or they wouldn't let me build it so anyway so that's what I have for neighbors across the street and then uh, next door uh, right through there you can see my neighbor's house I uh, can kind of get a glimpse maybe as cars are parked right over there and then uh, on the other side of me you can see my neighbor's driveway there and his house right there and uh, anyway so those are uh, my two neighbors here by the house and then uh, walk this way a little shaky cam action uh, for all those that like it and uh, you can kind of get a view of my backyard um, got the other side over there the I think it was a garage once they converted it to a living space there's a wood stove out there um, storage for me and uh, my garden wells right down there and then you can kind of see uh, got a pretty wild yard this is my backyard and there's a fish pond out there uh, two filters the above ground pond and the waterfall and all the uh, stuff on top of the water right now and uh, the backyard I mowed it two weeks ago and it already needs to be mowed again and then I have uh, flowers and stuff in pots that I don't know where I want to put them um, so they stay in pots kind of the way the grapes were until I finally put them in over at the other place but uh, anyway my backyard and uh, you can kind of see what it is anyway and then about uh, uh, 200 feet that direction behind those trees there is um, where the beetle barn is it's out back so uh, anyway a little look at uh, my uh, area here my zone and uh, I like it I get down in the backyard behind the house here and uh, I don't hear this traffic so much when I'm out by the pond I can't hardly hear it at all for the water um, you know, even with this traffic, if you listen... You can hear the water flow. So, uh, anyway, mostly what I hear is the water. And then this traffic will tone down about 6.30 this evening. And uh, it'll be a car every, I don't know, maybe two cars a minute. 
or something. It's not it's not so bad. But uh, anyway, a little look at uh, the area. Okay, now I'm going to go back to uh, this nightmare. You can see I got these two panels here. These are solar water water heaters. Uh, they're upside down right now. The frame for it is uh, laying over there in the weeds. It uh, when they installed it, they didn't seal the feet of that frame very well, and it caused some uh, some rotten spots in my roof here, where this big patch is. So I had to rip all that off and fix that roof, and then uh, I went ahead and papered it. Um, but anyway, I haven't put these uh, solar things back up, and I'm thinking about doing it, but I'll probably do it on this back porch roof here instead of up on the house. And then uh, I may actually plumb it into the... Uh, fish pond to warm the fish pond um, you know I live here half the time and uh, I don't need a bunch of extra water hot water so I made I may do that incorporate that into the fish pond to help keep the fish water warm but we'll see anyway didn't throw it out just took it off and flipped it upside down on the other side for now I can always reinstall it but uh, I got to go back to this rake in action and uh, Get her down to the shed side here, and uh, as you can see, I should probably bring the mower up before I even bother, but I'm not gonna. Anyway, it's even got berries growing out of this uh, stuff here underneath this big old Douglas fir. And uh, anyway, so I'm gonna use the old pitchfork on this stuff, get her off of here, and this roof on this side over here um, this summer, definitely gonna get a repaper. Uh, it needs a couple boards way over there on the far side on the corner. Uh, some of the paper's torn back and the, the uh, plywood that's underneath is a little bit soft. So I'll go ahead and uh, fix that stuff and throw another layer of paper on here. But the old roof has done me well. Um, it's been here since uh, I bought the place and it was old when I bought it. And uh, so that's... Uh, what 25 years this year October this year would be 25 years ago I bought this place so you know to get have my roof last that long that's you know you can't ask any more than that so yeah this summer I'll throw a layer of paper on here and uh, be good to go for another 25 hopefully I am still raking up here time for a break so I parked my ass here at the peak and uh, making like a gargoyle off the end of the uh, building here out towards the fish pond but uh, yeah time for a short little break here probably roll up a smoke and uh, yeah anyway getting pretty close to done with this half here. Well, a little before six out here in the evening now finally and I'm calling it clean even did a little entryway there and all this guy over here another uh, few rolls of paper on this this summer what I'll do is wait until it dries out and then give it a good sweep. Get all the pine needles and crap off and I'm just going right over the top of it with uh, another layer of paper. Um, whoever did this one here, they got nails in all the seams down here. And you know, the tar shrinks back so there's little bits of uh, nail heads sticking up and this and that anyway. When I do mine, uh, like I did over there, I nail the top half, or the top, the top row of each piece of paper, but underneath uh, I overlap a, a good uh, oh, six inches anyway, but that entire six inches is covered in uh, tar. And uh, so the bottom end sticks down, no nails in the bottom of any of that paper over there. There are no exposed nails in any of that stuff over there. Um, I just nail the top and layer over and glue it down. Then up on the peak there, I basically glued, uh, oh man, about a foot on each side and laid my paper up over the top there. So the top of that's just glued down. And then uh, I'll do the same thing. I'll start on this side and lay it up over the top and work my way down. Or actually, I'll work from the bottom up, but it'll be laying up over the top by a good foot when I get there. Um, everything tarred down so it don't leak and uh, when I do this here I'll do the same thing 
I may or may not go the same direction. We have a pretty good prevailing uh, west wind here, generally speaking, coming in off the coast over there. Uh, I don't know, 40 something miles straight that way. And uh, I may lap it up over with the tails towards the east. I'm not 100% sure yet. But uh, I may go the same direction. At any rate, it'll be nailed at the top end and uh, glued down at the bottom. And uh, shit won't leak. So, roof's clean for now. Even kind of scraped off this little uh, store of the lawnmowers and crap under it, uh, shed roof kind of thing here, fiberglass. Scraped some of the moss off. But, uh, yeah, had enough of this for now. Uh, gotta go visit the tax man later and pick up my stuff, get it in the mail and uh, get that uh, monkey off my back for the years, for this year. Anyway, thanks for watching.